Hello, in this video we have this exponential equation. We have 8 power x plus 2 power x equals 130. We are solving for x. Now we can rewrite this 8 power x as 2 power 3. Or power x plus 2 power x. This equals 130. Now we make use of this identity. We have a power m or power m. This equals a power m or power m. Now we are going to apply this identity right here. So we have 2 power x or power 3 plus 2 power x and this equals 130. Now from here we can say let y equals 2 power x. So if y equals 2 power x, we are going to have y power 3 plus y and this equals 130. Now the next thing is for us to rearrange this equation. By moving this over, we have y power 3 plus y minus 130 and this equals 0. Now let's work with this 130. If you have 130, you can divide it into two parts. You have 26 and you have 5. 26 times 5 is 130. Now instead of this y here, we can have y equals 26y minus 25y. So we are going to replace this y here with 26y minus 25y. So that means we are going to have y cube. Instead of this, we can have minus 25y. That's what we have gotten here. Then we have plus 26y. That's what we have gotten here. And we have minus 130. And this equals 0. So now we have y here and we have y here. We can factor it out. We have y squared and we have minus 25. Then what we are going to do next is here we can have plus we factor out 26 and we have y minus 5 and this equals 0. So the next thing we are going to do is this 25 here is a perfect square, so we can have it as y. We have into y squared minus 5 squared, that is 25. And we have plus 26 into y minus 5, and this equals 0. So this actually becomes difference of two squares. If you have a squared minus b squared, this equals a plus b times a minus b. We are going to apply this identity right here so that means we are going to have y into a plus b we are going to have y plus 5 a minus b we are going to have y minus 5 and we have plus 26 into y minus 5 and this equals 0 so what we are going to do next is to factor out the common terms here. Here we have y minus 5 and here we have y minus 5. So you can factor that out. We have y minus 5. Then we have into the whole of this y into y plus 5. Then here we have plus 26. And this equals 0. So that means we are going to have y minus 5. Into, let's multiply this out. We are going to have y squared plus 5y plus 26 and this equals 0. So at this point, we have two different equations. We have y minus 5 equals 0 or we have the whole of this. We have y squared plus 5y plus 26 and this equals 0. Now let's start with this first equation here. If y minus 5 equals 0, that means y equals 5. So that is for the first equation here. Now for this one here, we are going to check if we are going to have real root or complex root. So you are making use of discriminant and this equals b squared minus 4ac. So from this particular equation, a equals the coefficient of y squared, 
that is 1, v equals the coefficient of y, which is 5, and c equals the constant here, which is 26. So that means discriminant will be b squared, that is 5 squared, minus 4ac, we have 4 times 26. So we are going to have discriminant equals 25 minus 4 times 26 is simply 104. We have 104. So that means our discriminant equals 25 minus 104. We have negative 79. And this is less than 0. Now when the discriminant is less than 0, that means we are going to have no real roots. This is going to give us some complex root. We have no real root because the discriminant here is less than zero. So we are not looking for complex root. We are only looking for real root. So that means we are going to work with what we have here. Now, so let's go ahead. We have y equals five. So recall, recall that let me take us back there. We had this. Y equals 2 power X. So we are going to make use of that. So we have 2 power X equals 5. So from here, we are going to solve for this X here. What we are going to do is we are going to make use of log. We have log of 2 power x. This equals log of 5. So if you have log of a power b, this becomes b times log of a. So that means you are going to have x times log of 2. And this equals log of 5. So from here you are going to have x equals log of 5 divided by log of 2 or you can simply write it as log of 5 to the base of 2 so this is one way of solving it now the next or another way of solving this we can take or solve it this way if you have 2 power x equals 5 what you can do is you can take the log to base 5. So you are going to have log of 2 power x to the base of 5 and you have log of 5 to the base of 5. So log of a to the base of a equals 1. That means this will give us 1. So we are going to have Remember, this x will come behind. So you are going to have x times log of 2 to the base of 5 equals 1. So from here, we are going to have x equals 1 divided by log of 2 to the base of 5. And from what we have discussed before, if you have log of 2 to the base of 5, this simply equals log of 2 divided by log of 5. So that means we are going to have x equals 1 divided by log of 2 divided by log of 5. And this simply equals 1 divided by 1 times log of 5 divided by log of 2. So we have x equals log of 5 divided by log of 2. Or we can rewrite it as log of 5 to the base of 2. So this actually corresponds to what we had before. Remember, we had it before using this other approach. So anyone that you choose or anyone that is better for you, you make use of it. Now, this is our answer. That's the value of x.
So the next thing we are going to do is to check. We have here check. We are going to check if what we have solved is correct. So we are going to have 8. Remember we had 8 power x plus 2 power x equals 130. So we are going to have 8 power log of 5 to the base of 2 plus 2 power log of 5 to the base of 2 equals 130. Now, using our calculator, the value of this is simply 2.32. So we are going to have, let me write it here, log of 5 to the base of 2, which equals log of 5 divided by log of 2 is approximately equals to 2.32. So that is it. Now we are going to have 8 power 2.32 plus 2 power 2.32 and this equals 130 because 8 power 2.32 is simply we are going to have 125.018 plus if you carry out this you are going to have 5.00 now this equals 130 now indeed if you add 125 plus 5.0 we are going to have 130 so you have 130 equals 130 so that is it for the video thank you and goodbye